You've probably heard by now that Instagram is not playing nice and is burying photography content and pushing reels to the forefront. And people are starting to jump ship to TikTok, YouTube, and even Vero. And for those who are sticking around, there's a lot of frustration with the algorithm. And I'm not here to talk about my frustration with, the, with Instagram because honestly, it doesn't owe me anything. It's a free to use platform. And if it becomes irrelevant, then we'll all just move on to the next thing. Instead, I'm here to show how I'm using Instagram as a wedding photographer in 2022 and what my strategy is going forward. But first, a quick disclaimer. I do not claim to be a social media pro. Actually, I'm quite the opposite and there is still so much that I need to learn, but I've seen Instagram's benefits from this approach that I've been using for the last couple of weeks. And I think there is something to take away from this. So the first thing that I'm doing is looking at Instagram as a toolbox with lots of tools inside. You've got reels, photos, stories, story highlights, pinning to your grid, DMs and hashtags, just to name a few. And I just had a baby not long ago and I had to build his crib. Well, putting together the crib was actually really simple, but it required multiple tools to do so. It would have taken me way longer to build this crib if I only had a screwdriver and used that and I just ignored the Allen wrench completely. Instagram works the same way in the sense that it has many tools and if we use them all in conjunction with one another, we'll likely see a better outcome. So I'm not going to post reels every day even though I know that would get me the most return at the moment. It's not what I like doing and so I'm just not gonna focus on it. But that, I mean, that doesn't mean I'm gonna ignore reels completely. It means that I'll sporadically create a reel every now and then because they're still helpful for profile growth. If you like creating reels, then by all means, go for it and create those reels. Just don't forget about the other tools in the toolbox like stories and photos or carousel posts. And so so to wrap this up, use the full gamut of tools on Instagram. Second, I'm staying very consistent. Ugh, that word. Consistency is something you hear people tell you all the time, and it's always frustrating to hear, I know, but I guess there is a reason people say it. I've been posting very consistently for the last few weeks and have seen an increase in my engagement follows in inquiries. So stay consistent. Post a piece of content every day. The best way to do this is to use an app like Plan to schedule your content and plan it out completely. You can plan your stuff for weeks or months in advance, and doing so will make it easier for you to stay consistent. Spending an hour or two scheduling out content for the next 60 days will make life easier over those two months. Third, I'm posting only what I want to photograph in the future. Instagram is a portfolio space, and so I'm curating my work on Instagram. It's likely the first time someone is seeing my work, and if I'm showing work that I didn't particularly like shooting, say photographing a wedding in a dark church, chances are I'm just going to attract clients who are also having a wedding in a dark church. I'm being very conscious of the photography market. I'm trying to reach and only showing weddings that feature beautiful details, very well styled brides or grooms, and at locations I wanna photograph weddings at again. So curate your Instagram portfolio to only show your best work with photos of weddings or sessions that you absolutely love and would wanna shoot more weddings or sessions similar to that. Fourth, I'm tagging my vendors. Please, please, please tag your vendors. Whether it's the location or venue, the bride's shoes, the groom's cufflinks, the invitation designer, the florist, et cetera, et cetera, tag your vendors. One, because it means you're giving credit where credit is due and is the polite thing to do and they're gonna thank you for it, but also because you're making it very easy for them to share your content. You've practically made a free story post for them to blast your work out to their audience. It means you have a higher chance of getting your work shown to a larger number of people and all because you tagged them in a post. Fifth, I'm using the story highlights feature as a way to feature weddings or sessions. I'm using this feature to showcase around 60 to 100 images from a few weddings that I feel really stand out above the rest. This is a great way to showcase your wedding in an aesthetically pleasing way and save them in a highlight that lives forever at the top of your profile, making it really easy for potential clients to see more of your work from a wedding without ever leaving your profile. I use an app called Unfold to design my stories for Instagram. I also tag a ton of vendors in these stories so that they can, again, easily share my photos. Just the other day, I posted over 80 images from a wedding I photographed in Manhattan, and that venue shared nearly 50 of the 80 images to their own Instagram that same day. I booked a wedding at another venue in Manhattan one week later. Last, and this isn't technically you working on Instagram, but I'm sharing my final galleries from weddings with the vendors. I mentioned tagging them already, but Giving them a gallery and permission to share your work to their own Instagram profiles with a tag and credit will result in a greater chance of people finding and inquiring with you. And just last month, a local venue shared eight of our photos in a row and we received seven inquiries to that venue in the span of just two weeks. It works, guys. Instagram isn't going anywhere and these are just a few tactics that I'm implementing to market my business, but these aren't the only ways to market your wedding photography business. If you wanna learn one of my favorite hacks for getting your work seen and shared by your clients to tons of their friends, go watch this video here.